Kyoko Platoon has assembled. Thank you, Haruka. Okay, you've all heard the situation from Haruka. It looks like there's a swarm of others in these abandoned subway lines. The extinction belt has descended to lower altitudes, so now they're underground. I'm sure you all know about it, but let's confirm for the newbies. Naomi, tell me what you know about the extinction belt. It's an abnormal phenomenon that's thought to have appeared because of the spring of extinction. It's gathered near Earth's stratosphere and surrounds the planet. The others are born inside the extinction belt and have been observed descending to the Earth's surface. But not much else is known. That's right. So, you should never go near a place where the extinction belt is thick. Others could show up anywhere. It's very dangerous. Also, the extinction belt contains particles that may jam our communications. If that happens, you can only count on Haruka's telepathy. Without the help of a communicator, my telepathy will only transmit one way. Pray the communicators don't go down. I'll also have to take control of the whole company, so Gemma will be temporary platoon commander. What? Why Gemma? Shiden, if you have a complaint, we'll talk about it after this operation. Gemma, I'm counting on you. Roger. This will be a joint operation between the 7th and 8th Company from the 1st Regiment and the 1st and 2nd Company from the 2nd Regiment. This is a large-scale operation, so I need you all to refrain from going off on your own. Kyoka Platoon, maintain the front line and move toward Point Alpha. Shiden, Kasane, and I will connect our SAS. Naomi will support us from the rear. Move out. Understood. Understood. This is the subway. It's in pretty bad shape. The Suo Line 9 was... Pretty heavily damaged by other attacks. It's closed off now. It's dangerous, so be careful. There are some subway lines still in use, though. nearby resource reading.
Why do you want to be the leader so much, Shiden? It's not that I want it that badly. I just think the person best suited for the job should do it. That makes a lot of sense. Then I'd say Gemma is the right pick for leader. Allowing for easier control of brain drive. 
It's only a supplemental system. You need to control your power by yourself. The enemy is stunned. Now's the time. It's done. Break drop. Did you just see some National Defense Force? No, I didn't see anything. That's weird. This place is crawling with others. What kind of mission would they be on?
seems to be the spot. Finish it, Kasani! you just jump like that? Sane, stop. Kyoko Platoon has arrived at Point Alpha. Seto Platoon is two minutes behind. Signal when you rendezvous in. Others, above, get out! What? I can't hear you. I see them. They're coming from above in 20 seconds. Get out of the way. Is that your precognition? Spread out. Extinction Belt damaged communications. It's rare for them to go completely down. Naomi, get to Seto Platoon and ask for reinforcements. The rest of you, get ready to take out the others. I wonder if Naomi is alright. She just saved us. What are you talking about? If danger comes, she can use her precognition to avoid it. Listen, just focus on the others in front of you. Isolate them. Be on guard. No way. No! The attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. The shell is broken. Aim for its weak spot. Useless. It's over.
wonder where the other platoons are. You're right. There were supposed to be over 40 people deployed here. I don't see anyone else around Point Alpha. I hope others didn't get them. Kyoka platoon, disperse! They're coming from above! Thank you. You saved me. Is everyone all right? Gimma Garrison and Sugumi Nazar reporting in. There are two more nearby. Yuito, you alive? Nagi, where are you right now? Next to the rubble. I'm with Naomi. Let me reboot the GPS. <laughs> What's wrong? Nagi! Others are attacking from all around us! Nagi is- ah! Naomi! This is bad. There are too many others. We have to hurry. I'll clear the rubble. There are too many. I'll help! Ah! Naomi! Naomi, are you okay? I'm okay. I just hurt my leg a little. I'm gonna kill it! Hey, calm down! I will once I kill it. You handle things over there! Gemma, can I kill it now? Fine, but listen to Yuito and calm down. Shut up! It's dead!
What's going on? Don't take your hands off of the red strings. I'll fight too. <laughs> is Naomi! Naomi! A transfer power? Who needs strong abilities to move something that size?
Where are you going? You can't run off during a mission. Let go! <sighs> Don't try to resist. I'm too strong for you. <sighs> huh. I'm impressed you're able to calm down so quickly. Why are you stopping me? For your own sake, and for Naomi's. So you know what happened to my sister? She metamorphosed. She can't change back. Not like this, anyway. What do you know? What I know is that the only way to make Naomi human again is to entrust her to them. I'm not even sure what happened, and you're telling me to trust you? You're not even sure what happened, and you're doubting me. I'm sure you at least understand that if you get Naomi back now, she'd just be killed as another. Is it really safe to let a mysterious group like that take her? That's the Ceyron garrison of the National Defense Forces. They won't kill her. I can guarantee that. But don't ask me why they won't kill her right now. And don't notify the OSF command about the fact that Naomi has metamorphosed. Don't tell anyone about this. If you do, I can't vouch for Naomi's or your safety. Are you saying they'll kill me? They won't kill you. Your ride is here. Think hard before you act. Don't trust new Himuka. You'll regret it if you do. Ah, Shiden is sending a distress signal up ahead. You should help him. Major General Karin? Yuito and Gemma, you two take care of her. I'm returning to the front line to regroup the units. Yes, sir. Kasane, uh, where's Naomi? I suppose I can tell you, since you saw the whole thing. She was taken by troops stationed in Ceyron. So that car was from the Ceyron garrison? Yes, so? Something's not right. When I reported this to Major General Fubuki, he told me not to tell anyone else, and to tell you to do the same. Major General Karin said the same thing. Why tell us to keep quiet? Does that mean OSF is hiding something? I don't know. Major General Fubuki said it would protect us. And take a look at this. It seems like the Ceyron garrison dropped this, too. I remember seeing this at home when I was a child. According to the Major General, it's a drug that temporarily boosts powers. He wanted me to turn them over, but I managed to keep two of them without him knowing. That was a smart decision. In any case, why would something like that be at my home? The Randall family is involved in weapon development. Anything related to drug manufacturing would have only been joint ventures with Spring Pharmaceuticals. He also mentioned that this drug was classified information. It seems like the top brass of the OSF know about it. Spring Pharmaceuticals is Major General Fubuki's family company. Perhaps the commander knew because of that. Don't trust new Himuka. What? What is that supposed to mean? It's something Karin said. I'm not exactly sure what he meant by it either. If this ampule really is from Ceyron, then does that mean the Randalls and Springs are cooperating with Ceyron? Even if that's the case, it just leaves us with more questions. It might be best to do as we were told. We keep this to ourselves and look into it privately. That ampule seems to be pretty important. Might be a good idea to hide it. Then I'll hide the ampule inside Baki. Huh? I didn't think you'd know how to sew. I was always told to be independent, ever since I was little. Done. There's two, so who's going to hold on to them? I'll pass. I think you two should probably carry them. Baki... My sister would have been so happy. Kasane... About Naomi... I'm sorry. I knew that other was Naomi, but I was scared. I... I had no other choice but to fight. Hmm... Stop it. I'll get Naomi back. Just don't get in my way. This might come off as naive, but I want to do what I can to help save her, too. It is naive, but thank you. Oh, nice one, Sugumi. Looks like everyone's here. Huh. 
Where's Naomi? Isn't she with you? <sighs> What's wrong? I'll tell you later. Uh, where's Nagi? And Captain Seto and Hanabi? Nagi is with the rescue team on the front line. Captain and Hanabi are totally fine. They're worried about you, so we should get out of here. No, the rest of you go first. She didn't supposed to be up ahead, so I'll pick him up. Then I'll go with you. For better or worse, I'm the leader of Kyoko Platoon until this mission is over. All right. Be careful. Are you all right, Kasane? After what happened to Naomi, you might not be in your right mind. I... I'm fine. I just have to help my sister. That's all I'm thinking about. Finally found you, Sheedan. You're not hurt. <laughs> of course I'm not. Don't treat me like a lost child. That's what you looked like to me. You little... All right, let's go home. I'm ready to go, but where's Naomi? There was a reading around here that seemed like her. Naomi died. What? Kasane. What? I had to tell him. <sighs> You're right. Hey, was she really killed? I know you're cold-hearted, but this is too frigid. Why would I lie about it? Naomi is dead. Kyoka left me in charge of the platoon. I wasn't good enough and let Naomi get killed. That's not true. It was... That's just not what happened. No, it is true. I know words are never enough, but I'm sorry. Dear, you must be so sad after losing your sister. Kodama, what do you want? Are you looking for wounded? Shiden, you little traitor. You know I don't do menial jobs like that. Right. Well, the reason doesn't really matter, so I guess I'll just say you were attacked by others. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, time to die! I'll just kill ya! What are you up to? Give it to me, Gemma. Here, you have I enough time to talk? Then I'll have to give you more to deal with. Why would you do something like that? Hmm. Well, 
I have my reasons. Okay then, maybe it's time for me to get serious in round two. That's enough. Our mission isn't finished yet. Restrain yourself, Kodama. Major General Fubuki! Kodama, I'll take care of this. You don't need to get involved. Okay, understood. Gemma, Shiden, and Kasane, I know you're angry, but can you forgive Kodama for my sake? I don't mind. I'm not that angry. Aw, you're so sweet, Kasane! <sighs> now she hides behind Major General Fubuki. Hmm. Gemma? How about you? Understood, sir. All right. We're returning to the frontline base. I know you all sustained some serious attacks, so pull back and get some rest. Okay, I guess we should withdraw. Though I'm not sure I have enough in me to go straight back to Suo. Should we stop by the hideout? Yeah. Major Kyoka will most likely have the same idea. mission went really bad. Thank goodness you three are safe. No, I shouldn't be happy. I heard from Major General Fubuki. Naomi. She's dead. Yes. Damn those others. <sighs> Kasane, I'm sorry. I failed as a commander. She was such a promising girl. And now she's gone. Don't. She served like any other OSF soldier. If I believe what Karin says, Naomi is still alive. I don't know what he's thinking, but I have to leave my sister with those people for now. Wait for me, Naomi. I promise I'll come for you. Kyoka doesn't know about Naomi's metamorphosis. Should we keep her in the dark? We were told not to say anything, and it would only make her worry. You're probably right. Are you okay, Kasane? I don't know what to say about Naomi. Just tell me if there's anything I can do. Don't bottle up your emotions. Yes, thank you. Sunny. I'm here, just like you asked me. What did you want to talk about? I was just wondering if you were okay. Me? I'm alright. Really? I mean, everything with Naomi. Oh, right. Now that you mention it, you were there too, weren't you? When it happened, you saw Naomi transform. Yeah. It was really scary. Just thinking about it upsets me. But I know it has to be harder for you. So... And that's why you reached out to me. Thanks, but I'm fine. That can't be true. You can't be okay. I didn't say that I wasn't in pain. But right now, I have bigger priorities than my own feelings. I'm going to do what I need to for my sister. That's all. You don't need to worry about me. Okay. <sighs> have you talked to my sister before? I mean, you're in different platoons, so I figured you wouldn't have interacted that much. We talked once in a while, 
Because we had common hobbies, like gardening. Gardening? I like growing flowers. When I said that, Naomi said she was interested as well. Flowers. Right, Naomi did like flowers. Not just flowers. She also said she wanted to grow herbs to cook with. Can you grow herbs on your own? It's not difficult if you know how to grow them, but it also depends on the variety. For example, mint is easy to grow, parsley and basil too, and you use them a lot in cooking. I see. There were some plants that like dry places, and others that need to be watered frequently. Why did you get so quiet all of a sudden? I'm sorry. I realized I was blabbering. I wouldn't consider any of that blabbering. I studied a lot about herbs to teach Naomi, so I got a little carried away. I see. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. I just had so much more I wanted to talk to Naomi about. Whatever it was you were going to teach her about gardening. Would you mind teaching me instead? What? Of course. Are you sure? I'm sure. You never know, it might come in handy. I also want to find out what my sister wanted to know. Okay. Just like with herbs, plants have all kinds of uses. I'm sure it will be helpful in your life somehow. Oh, I know. The lavender flower has a relaxing property. Drinking it in tea or smelling its aroma when you're tired or feeling bad will make you feel better. Thank you. I'll keep an eye out for some. Okay. Well, goodbye. She's so kind to me. I can tell she cares. And while her personality may be different, there's a part of her that reminds me of Naomi. Kasane! Over here! That was fast. I didn't think you'd be here yet. I just got here. Now come on! Let's order us a bucket of sweets! Mmm, this is so good! Tea with sweets is the best way to relax. I guess. The tea and the cake aren't as good as what Naomi made. Yeah, she was a good cook. Anyway... Other than how it tastes, are you relaxing? Relaxing? You're not relaxed? If there's something bothering you, you can talk to me. There isn't really anything. I'd be happy to take some fighting advice, though. Alright, but are you sure you want advice from me? You were the best in the class. You're pretty good yourself. You're not great at focusing on the whole picture, but you're great in a straight fight. I think you could teach me about using my power effectively, or how to make openings on the battlefield. Uh, was that a compliment? Yes, it was. You just go right in, even if it's an obviously dangerous situation. Why is that? I feel like you're saying I'm reckless. But yeah, if I had to give a reason, it's because I trust my friends. There are other people who will watch the whole battle. Even if I am a little excessive and clumsy, someone will cover for me. <laughs> I guess I sound spoiled. I see. Trusting your friends. I'll keep that in mind. I suppose there are a lot of different ways to fight. I'm glad I could help. But that's not what I was asking. Aren't you worried about how you're getting along with people? How I get along? What do you mean? Um, well... Like if there's someone you like... Huh? I do like someone, but I'm not worried about it. Really? That's cool. Could I ask who it is? Sure. It's Naomi. Huh? Oh, um, I didn't mean like in a family sense. Like, 
a guy or something. So you mean romance? You should have said so from the beginning. So... is there anyone? I... don't know. At least I've never felt anything like that. So there's no one that you like right now? I don't think so. I'd know if I liked someone like that, wouldn't I? What? Um, I think you can be attracted to someone without realizing it yourself. Really? Uh, Kasane? <sighs> I'm going to head back. Yeah. Sorry it got so awkward. It's not awkward. I don't know if it was relaxing, but I had fun, I think. I haven't had pointless small talk with anyone since I've been separated from my sister. Um, if it made you feel better, then I'm glad I invited you. Why do you care about me so much? Huh? We're friends. Of course I'd care. Friends? You mean me? Yeah. I think so anyway. Is that bad? No. I don't mind. I was just a little surprised. I just thought we were familiar colleagues. Colleagues? I would have hoped you at least considered us classmates. Well, we can say we're friends now. I guess we can. Thanks. Yeah, sure. We should have tea as friends again. Of course. I'll see you later. Kasane, I heard about Naomi. I couldn't do anything to help and I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It wasn't your fault. Shiden, can we talk? What do you need? I'm busy. There's something that's bothering me about your actions during our operations. <laughs> okay, Ms. Leader. Go ahead, say what you want to say. You fly solo too often during battles. From my calculations, you do this about 30% more than the other members. More importantly, there weren't many cases where it gave us an advantage. How about you coordinate with the rest of us? What? Did you not hear me? I'm suggesting that fighting individually doesn't play to our platoon's strength. I follow instructions outlined by the operation. Or is babysitting you guys part of the plan? I didn't ask you to babysit. Combining our strengths is a more efficient solution. We all have unique powers. Complementing each other with what we lack will help us fight more effectively. Our operations have all been successful. I don't see a problem. We could be stronger if we continued to train. Are you satisfied with our current state? You don't have any right to say that to me. I'll fight my own way. Stop trying to boss me around. This isn't an order, it's a suggestion. Are you alright? Do you have a problem with your hearing? What did you say? Now, now, you two, don't fight. We're all on the same team here. I only suggested she then cooperate with us more. Seriously? You were giving me a whole lot of attitude for someone asking for my cooperation. Okay, calm down, the both of you. Listen to me. Shiden, your fighting skills and analysis levels are excellent. We all know you're capable of working on your own. However, you're part of a team. Don't you think it's worth practicing coordinating with your teammates? It's not easy to adapt to a sudden change. So why don't you start by becoming friends with Kasane? Friends? Kasane, you've taken the initiative to think about our platoon. Our team will become stronger if we're able to coordinate well together. But just telling someone how you feel isn't enough to reach an understanding. There are many ways to communicate. Why don't you study the people around you and think of creative ways to do that? Creative? You're both good kids. I'm sure you'll get along. Do your best. I don't need friends. If I'm strong enough to fight alone, I can beat the others without having to rely on unnecessary coordination. That's fine with me, as long as you don't hold us back in battle. Are you saying I'm holding you back? Yes. First, you charge into the front lines alone too much. You lose sight of your surroundings when you get excited. 
Your overconfidence and poor follow-through are also concerning. You always lose focus and relax when you see victory at hand. I I'll do better on the next assignment. So you're aware of this. Good. Everyone has faults. As perfect as we try to be, we all have limits. That makes relying on your teammates a necessary strategy. Fighting alone will get you killed one of these days. Uh. Shiden? He seems angry. Was I too harsh again? Are you mad? I apologize if I offended you. So you point out people's weaknesses in order to claim superiority? That's not what I do. It doesn't matter who's better or worse. Fine, be like that. But I'm never losing to you. I'll conquer all my flaws and weaknesses on my own. Now don't talk to me anymore. I've really made him mad. I guess this means I didn't come up with a creative way to communicate my thoughts to him. I'll have to work on that. I bet Naomi would be able to handle this without a problem. I have to figure this out on my own now. I have to think of a way to get along with him. <laughs>